Hello, this is Barb Binder with Rocky Mountain Training. I'm an Adobe Certified Instructor on FrameMaker. And in this video, I'd like to show you how to create custom bullets in Adobe FrameMaker 11. By default, FrameMaker just offers you one type of bullet. It's the plain round bullet that you see here. It's the only option in the Paragraph Designer under Numbering Properties that pertains to bullets. The second building block is a tab and everything else you see from here down to the very bottom of that list pertains to auto numbering. If you want something besides the plain round bullet, you need to do a couple extra things to make it happen. This is a three-step process. We have to one, pick a symbol, two, make a character format to assign that symbol, and then three, call it into our paragraph through the paragraph designer. Let's start by picking a good character for our bullet. I'm going to click my cursor at the end of a line of text. doesn't matter where because I'm going to delete it when I'm done. This is just to show you the process. And I'm going to go pick a symbol. Uh, I'll do that by going to the File menu, Utilities, Character Palette. I'm going to pull it up so you can see it. You pick the font from the top row. And I'm going to go ahead and choose Wingdings because I know everyone has Wingdings on their computers, or just about everybody does. I have other ornamental fonts right in view, Webdings, Wingdings 2, Wingdings 3, and other ones if I start scrolling. But Wingdings will work, so I'll go ahead and choose my font as Wingdings. And I'm going to use a happy face. As I touch the happy face character, if I look at the bottom row of my character palette, I can see that it says it's a Latin capital letter J which means if I know that that equates to a happy face in Wingdings I can just type an uppercase J. If you pick characters further down the list you might find that they are letters that don't appear in the keyboard like this down pointing arrow says it's a lowercase e with a circumflex that's not on my keyboard so in that case I'm going to have to remember to copy the character to the clipboard before I get much further. But for now go ahead and click on your favorite character for me I'm going to pick my happy face and once I do that, I'm going to click outside the character palette, which will close it. And where my cursor was sitting at the end of organizing, I now see the uppercase J. And you're seeing whatever character goes with the symbol that you selected. That's step number one. Step number two is to make a character format that will actually transform that character into the desired symbol. Go ahead and select your letter. And if it's a letter that's not on the keyboard, here's your chance to copy it to the clipboard. Go ahead and copy it. And then we're going to go to the character designer and create a new character format to change that letter into the desired symbol. I'm going to start by going to the commands menu. I'm going to make a new format, which I'll call custom bullet, and create. And then, so I have maximum flexibility on how I can use this format, I'm going to go back to commands and set window to as is. I want to pick two things out of the menu choices. The first one is going to be the family. Uh, I'm going to go back down to the W's. I'm looking for uh, Wingdings. That's the one I chose. And I want this to be a color I'm using elsewhere, so I'll go ahead and change the color to Emphasis Color and then Update All. Now I'm going to close the Character Designer and there's my happy face. Looks great. It's in the wrong spot, but that's what I was looking for. And now I know I got the right character and my character format is working. Two out of the three out of the way. I'm going to backspace out my character and I want to now put it as actual bullets in front of these paragraphs. And for that to happen, we go to the paragraph designer, button number four, numbering properties. Let's get rid of any existing auto number format if there is one. And you either want to paste, which is Control V as in Victor, or you can right click to paste. Uh, in my case, I can just type a Shift J because that's the character I'm using. And then I'll put the tab character back in again because the tab is going to give me the space between the happy face and the first letter of the paragraph. When I pick up date all, I'm still not quite there. My J's are there, but my happy faces aren't. And that's because I still need to go to the right column, which has a list of all the character formats in this one document and there's my custom bullet. Once I click it, it'll type it in on the character format list and when I pick update all, FrameMaker will take my uppercase J, assign the custom bullet format, 
which makes it blue and chooses wingdings, and there we go. Now that's the good news. The bad news is you probably can't use happy faces in your technical documentation, but there are lots of other characters you could consider using. Uh, generally speaking, most common business bullets are going to start with the lowercase l, as in line, and go to the lowercase w. So for example, if I go back to the paragraph designer and I change my uppercase j to a lowercase l, I get a big round bullet. I'll try an M, as in Mary, and I get a, a hollow big round bullet. N, as in Nancy, is going to give me a big square bullet. And then continue on all the way through the letter W to see what they do. Or, even easier, I've got a table here for you. Um, the table shows the character equivalents from a Latin character to wingdings and zafting bats. I showed you the first three. If I had kept on going, you'd realize, well, the lowercase o is a, an empty hollow box, a ballot box. Here's one with a thicker edge. Lots of different choices to play with. And of course, if you can have more fun with them, you should. But these will certainly be acceptable by most, um, in most business documents. Have fun!